Welcome back to more Shogun 2 Total War Multiplayer Siege Battles. Um, the guy I faced in the first two videos of this series, Re Recruit Chi, he ended up joining. We did a game. I used the same setup I have right now, but the game en ended up crashing. So we're pretty much doing a reset of the game that just happened. It was a very unfortunate crash, but we'll get through it. My army will be 9 Bo Ashigaru, 2 Elite Naginata Attendants, an Elite Lone Sword Ashigaru, 2 Standard Lone Sword Ashigaru, Testubo Warrior Monk Hero, and Yari Ashigaru. Retainers, Trading Post, and Inspiring Orator for the discounts, plus 1 Armor to all Melee Infantry, and Way of the Eco Iki, plus 2 Melee Defense, and plus 1 Morale to all Ashigaru and Monk Units. With an increase in 5% recruitment cost, um, my general will also give my entire army 2 extra morale, so that's actually 3 extra morale whenever the game starts. Plus, all of the bonuses affect my Tsuba Warrior Monk Hero, so I should be able to finish ranking that up in this battle. I don't know if I'll get 2 ranks on it, but we'll see how it goes, see how many kills he gets. That's about it, we're ready to get started again. Alright, so it seems that he is still using the Shinobi Informer Retainer. But I believe he's a higher rank now than he was when I first ran into him, so he has extra retainers. But this one reduces fatigue resistance for all my melee. But my general himself kind of counters that, because my general increases the fatigue resistance for my army. So that's not as effective as it should be. Actually, I think it completely balances out, as a matter of fact. I'm not entirely sure, because it doesn't really see if I have much or whatever, because we can't see any actual stat for fatigue resistance and stuff like that. Uh, my general dump his cav. My general's actually going to work pretty closely with the Testuba Warrior Monk Hero unit. Because I really need these Testuba warrior monks to get some kills. Because I've seen them do some crazy shit when they're max level. Because, uh, 34 melee attack. Th their melee defense isn't terrible, but it could be a little bit better. They have pretty high armor, especially with the famous armory uh, retainer. So these, my, these Testuba warrior monks are actually pretty decent, pretty powerful. They're, they're very strong, but 
with the lower defense, they do die decently fast in melee, but they get a lot of kills in the meantime. So it's a pretty good unit to have if you just want to kill a bunch of guys and don't care about the unit. Which is exactly why I brought them. Where are these guys? Oh, I didn't place my three archers up here yet. Okay, you three will be there. Ready to go wherever. Let's see what he's done with his army here. He's attacking from this way. He's got Vermilion Bird Force, General's Bodyguard, all Bokachi with a couple melee. He just spammed the shit out of Bokachi. I don't see that working for him. Uh, I can understand why he would want to. Because he always sees me with a ton of bo of archers, but as the attacker, it just doesn't work like that. So I'm gonna meet his archers on the wall, and we'll get started. He does have one rifle unit probably to help clear my wall of my archers. He doesn't have much melee though. He actually has a pretty small army if you think about it, just all Bokachi. So I'll put one archer on there, one archer on here, uh, these three will I'll move up, because all these guys will be here, and these three will be up here. I'm gonna move a Naginata attendant onto each, each tower, one on each side. And I'll move a standard lone sword on the rear on each side again just in case. Warrior monk hero go wherever. The lone sword Ashiguri will defend the top level with the Yari Ashiguri behind it. And we're all set. My archers will start engaging. What are you guys doing? You're not on the wall. Fuck. Right, I'm gonna work on getting these guys in the range. You two there. You and you will line up right behind these guys there. Hopefully they all start shooting. My general will get on the flag and his aura. Hopefully we'll cover my archers. Actually, he'll go behind these archers right here. Because my archers up here, I need them to have a little bit more. Uh, he's gonna inspire this unit. And then he's gonna rally and stand and fight ability. His Shogatai is already moving in. So. Naginata attendants are going to move up and be ready to deal with them. It seems he is heavily relying on his archers to skin. He doesn't normally do that. He's going to immediately mount the wall with his Shogatai. All of my archers will pull back. Uh, two archers up here will mount the wall. The rest of the archers will actually all gather behind them. Just create a big shooting fest up here. Yeah, that'll do. Then Naginata attendants will defend the wall here. With the... Not the limb swords. Actually, the warrior monk here will come down here because he has Vermilion Bird Force here. Actually, the Shogatai, I think, give more experience than the Vermilion Bird Force, because the Bird Force are really cheap infantry. So, my monk here will deal with the Bird Force over there. Shogatai have less than half their unit, they're about to start routing. Warrior Monk Hero already start heading up here. Preparing the charge. Uh, let's see, War Cry. They're in range. I'll War Cry. And that will actually help out my 
Knocking out a attendant. They will charge. It's not really a charge, but they'll engage in them. They routed that show attack pretty easily. Um, they don't need to go up there. They're pretty good. Naginata attendance back to the tower. Here I need to sit back as well because obviously his archers are getting a little bit crazy here. He is going to waste a lot of arrows on my broken unit. My archers are going to finish up. Oh! Oh, I thought he was going to get it. But we'll finish up the Katana Kachi here. I'm going to need to put more of my archers on this wall. So they'll melt the wall. Swords will move up to hopefully take out, take some of this arrow fire. They are going to be in range of my general, so they will have that extra melee boost. I mean, uh, morale boost so of eight morale and an extra armor to help also take some of the arrows. So my archers need to be able to stay alive to do anything. And right now, they're not able to do that. I am actually out of archers. He is ripping me apart with his archers. I'm really hoping he targets my lone sword Ashiguru with his archers. My general really can't afford to go down right now. Yes, he is going to do that. I'm going to move my Yari Ashikaru up also to take some of those hits. My general is going to need to break his formation. Use Inspire on these Lone Swords and rally them. He's actually going to move back a little bit. He doesn't need to be that damn close. He's actually going to move right onto the flag. He's still in range of them. And then use his standard fight ability. There. So hopefully these lone swords help in running down his arrows a little bit. I believe the tower. Yes, the tower should also be shooting, which it is. Doesn't seem I can select flaming arrows on the tower though. Both towers are actually shooting right now as Katana Samurai are wavering. Once his archers are out of arrows, it is over. Just gotta wait for that to happen and suicide however many units I need to to his archers to make that happen. Which, these lone swords. There's, oh, they just broke 35 men left. I'm actually gonna toy with his archers, try and get a few of them to miss if I'm able to. Looks like I will pull that off, I will get some of his arrows to miss. Yes, a lot of his arrows are actually missing right now. So that's gonna help my guys out a ton. And he is going to begin mounting the wall. Uh, 
this Naginata attendant is gonna move up already. Yari Ashiguru are gonna go back. Lone Swords are gonna stay up there. But, uh, Warrior Monk Hero and Naginata attendants are gonna immediately engage. These guys, I just want you out of the fight. You're not a veteran unit. I don't want you getting any kills. I don't want you guys getting any experience right now. Just leave this to the professionals. Attendants will pull back to the tower. Warrior Monk Hero will do the rest. Oh, his general shoot my guys up there. Warrior Monk Hero will take out the rest of his guys. Start climbing. My lone sword Ashiguru will mount the wall just to stop that from happening and get a little bit of experience. Stuba warrior monks will fight to the death if need be down here. Get as much experience as possible. They will go into an offensive stance. Start smashing up these archers. My lone swords will deal with the archers that are the wall. My tower is getting some kills too, which I actually don't like. More guys climbing the wall. shot right now. We're they're very well outnumbered, but they're just going to keep going as much as they can. They already have 300 kills. These warrior monkeys. And the one random bald guy here on the end. Okay, I can see the veins, or is that blood, sticking out of the top of his head. Kind of looks funny. Alright, he's got a f about a full unit of bow over here. Here, let me get in on some of that. Go get, go get him, buddies. Go get him. Here, good son. Oh, look at that. Demolished. So my Testuba Warrior Monk Hero has 350 kills. Actually, get as many more as I can off of these guys and these archers here. Just charge them, kill as many as you can. All he has left is his general. He does have some archers here, which I can get some final kills on. Is it there at 375? Let me try and get a few more of these guys here. Yes, I will actually get a bunch more kills off of these routing troops here. Oh, his general's moving in. I will immediately engage his general, stop him from shoot shooting his pistols. Come on, engage, engage. Bring his general down. Come on, guys. I only have eight heroes left. Seven. Come on, 
one, guys. My general will break his formation. Only for he will inspire and rally. And go back into his formation. My lone sword's got almost 100 kills. These monk heroes, come on. Just under 400 kills. It does it look like we're gonna cut it against this general. These are the only two men left in the unit. Oh, oh that this one down. They're holding as best they can. Another one down. Man alive in the unit. And they are dead with just under 400 kills. Alright. So it has come to this. Just my few guys against his general. It actually shouldn't be too much of a problem. He's probably gonna go. Actually, he owns this tower. I hope it's not shooting the general. No, my general lost his one guy all the way up here when he was in his original formation. Um, actually, these Naginata attendants will stay down here. They only got they got 137 kills, so we'll try and get a few more from this general. I'm sending them to their deaths right now, honestly. But they'll do what they can. They'll charge. Charge right to their deaths. Uh, they're wavering. They're gonna route before they get to a center. Yep. That's unfortunate. veterans I want to get more experience we're gonna go to wherever his general is which my general is now taking the fire from the tower these lone swords actually might charge out to hit his general not sure yet his general's getting torn apart by the tower actually I'll go to this side I'll recap this tower save my general Actually, his general's broken. It's over. GG. Which, even though that was a redo of the last battle, he brought a di completely different army this time. Last time he had Gatling guns, as you saw in the chat, but, uh... I had the exact same army, and he already knew what I had, and he still lost. said that I get more out of this than the magical battles. Alright, I'll see if he wants to go again.
I really don't mind if I attack or defend, especially when it comes to this guy, because he's probably going to lose either way. <laughs> Not to be too offensive, but, uh... Uh, he wants to, he, okay, he wants to, he wants to stay the attacker, I'm fine with that. Might swap something out with the way of the eco Iki. the me melee defense I didn't really need too much. But I do want that extra morale without the 5% more cost, so I will search for morale. Avatar and all veterans more morale, but warrior monks and nuns 5% more recruitment cost. Tempting, but not enough. One morale for Ashiguru units. I'll replace that. So I lose the two extra melee defense, but my units are much cheaper now that I don't have that extra cost. Which, even with nine Ashiguru, I can do pretty much anything. I can get a some warrior monks with you know, three units of monks with three, four units of Ashiguru. Ashiguru, I can do pretty much anything at this point. But I have to do something that will make me win, because uh, I like to win. Um, I do have one unit of Sword Ashiguru, oh they're, they're wounded, I'll get them in Waco Raiders. Uh, this unit of Yari, since it's not rank 4. So my army will be nine Boashiguru as before, Waco Raiders, Lone Sword Ashiguru Vet, Yari Ashiguru Vet, three standard Lone... Never mind, he just left. Apparently he didn't want to keep this. Well, it might take a while to find a replacement, or he might have just crashed, let me check. If he's not coming back, then I'm going to end the video here until I find another opponent. So, let me see. He might have just got DC'd, it happens. I don't think he's coming back, he might, he might not be too happy that he faced the same army twice in a row and got defeated both times. So I guess that'll be it for this episode, it was only one battle long, but I'll start recording again when I find another opponent, so I'll see you guys next time.